has is strictly his own <laughs> word, you know word, I mean, word. yeah you're listening to the uncensored truth podcast yeah. sam and oh god make sure you go up top and hit that like button on either platform you're watching here on viral hip-hop news or my man's hip-hop news uncensored yes got a dope show going on right now i wanted to talk about young thug brother let's talk about it Ooh, real your boy quick favorite rapper. now we all know the history behind young thug the rumors that swirl we did a, a story last week on him and little uzi vert wearing some suspect clothing we got a lot of a lot of backlash from that yeah. you know what i mean yeah. a lot of different things it was a great topic of discussion we always encourage healthy discussion no matter what mm -hmm. you agree or disagree but um he jumped on his twitter to kind of answer some of the people the naysayers that go and clap on his sexuality mm -hmm. he said oops talking about gay but won't play little boy now we all know that he has his own style of lingo so i'm guessing that we can interpret that as saying anybody out here calling him gay won't say it to his face won't come at him crazy mm -hmm. so y'all little y'all whack y'all ain't gonna fuck my money up what do you think about let's just have the topic of discussion first on what do you think about young thugs comments kind of nay saying it and what do you think about the people not only the ones that are kind of coming against us and what we said about that what do you think about this the whole just genre in itself when it comes to just men rappers nowadays and in, in different kind of clothing and in, in, in mm -hmm. styles and in, in fashion and things like that you know man I, I i try to always take you know i always try to look at both sides and even if it's three sides i try to look at the third side you know of the spectrum and when we was talking about you know um i, I when we were talking in uh, the pre-production i think it was the other day mm -hmm. um kanye what he said about um how the kid plays on a coffee table and the parents you say oh you know uh get off the coffee table when the kid's not worried about the coffee table and what he was trying to say is that we got a lot of things you know um that we were kind of taught you know um that this is supposed to be one way <laughs> one of the things I, I, it was a per you know when a uh, little uzi had a purse on and then young thug was sitting by him and they were sitting by each other and um you know and it's like the comment section made me think just not to say that i agree but like are have we been put have standards been put on us our expectations been put on us you know what i mean or one way of doing things been put on us that may not necessarily be the truth just because you see a cat you know uh where a purse may not mean he's a hom homosexual you know what i mean maybe he's just doing it for a headline and or maybe he's just doing it to get the type of reaction you know to get the people talking to keep him you know himself relevant so i had to look at every aspect you know of it and say that you know um it's still i still think it's bullshit. Mm -hmm. i'm just keeping it a buck i, I just know what you there's no way you can that's like that title i put on the video was he can't explain his way out of this and young thug can't explain his way out of it he's saying somebody i mean he's they won't say it to your faith doesn't matter when you you know uh uh um again it's about it's about the children and, and the next generation of people and you know you're sending them a a, 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 a wrong a fucked up message to the children you know where you uh put a purse on when which traditionally used to women wearing purses it's just it's just it's just a messed up message and then you're going to have a whole bunch of you know a generation of kids wearing purses then we're going to wonder what, what's wrong with our society when you have men and women trying to play role reversal then we wonder why everything is the way it is people somebody might it's going to be people that are just going to get pissed off this conversation you know what good right because it needs to be said let's keep it 100. first off no one on this platform no one's sitting to the right of me. No one's sitting in this house, in this studio, whatever mm. is homophobic. That's just that. That's nah, that's no, laughable. No. no, got family that are homosexual. Got friends that are homosexual. Got homeboys, homegirls. Whatever you do, let whoever can talk about someone sleeping with whoever. That's a con. That's not a, even in my fucking conversation. I can care less on who you lay with. I got other things to fucking do right. than to care about who you sleeping with. None of my fucking business. But the issue I have is when it's thrown out there as an agenda or made as if it's trendy or something popular to do, that's when I begin to have a problem. That's when I have a problem for the true homosexuals who are out here really living a life, who are really feeling these ways and have to deal with the bullshit that they deal with because you have some being perpetuated to kind of make a choice as opposed to really living a true life and that's what i have a problem with and a lot of a lot of these rappers out here and it seems like it because this was never a trend through our history we can talk about the history of men and clothes and i've been just because i wanted to have a full perspective on this conversation and not seem ignorant to the conversation i started looking up the, the history of men and when they started even putting on jeans and his clothing and throughout history yeah you've seen your samurais and you've seen your people in, in greek and rome and in africa just wear traditional garb that can be yeah, maybe kind of put in similarity with the dress nowadays but make no mistake it wasn't 
it wasn't i mean it's great conversation but there wasn't and i understand the conversation of free thinking and the analogy of the the little kid on the coffee table and what not to do and we're just we're just automatically kind of just programmed into thinking what's right or what's wrong i understand and i dig that conversation too i get that if you are a person who truly wants to wear a dress because this is who you are and you didn't do that i don't that's that's none of my business at the end of the day mm -hmm. so young thug if that's who he is come out and talk about it as opposed to running around it and letting people just it, have the energy of dialect and creating a picture of their own because once you let them create that picture that becomes reality you said nothing to this situation but oops talking gay but won't play little boy the fuck is that say something on it look man i'm free thinking free will i've been as a child blah blah blah. this happened this is i'm gonna wear what the fuck i want y'all know i mess with girls get yeah, out of here i agree with that y'all know i'm come on stop with yeah. that but you don't you allow people to paint the picture of who they want you allow these kids and these people that really look up to you to paint a picture and make it trendy to do something and, and, and like you said to, to run toward a situation if you if this is who you are this is who you are mm -hmm. no hate here love do what you do but to be put made to seem like it's trendy or made like an agenda that's what i have a problem with yeah that's real talk man and um yeah i got i agree with that 110 percent, man when you come out and then um, when you're playing around with it you know and leave leave it to up to people's interpretation that people are going to put you know have their own you know uh conclusions you know on that but i want to um there was a few comments yeah man i want to uh pull up let's do it and i'm gonna uh, highlight a few people Word. So put you on the sun not not in, the, not in a bad way but in a good way um that we could talk about it i'm just i'm gonna randomly go through here so if you see this video you know what i mean i appreciate you for leaving a comment um if you don't study the book of daniel uh the prophet in the book of revelation by apostle john then i can understand why people are so surprised people like thugger and uzi were predestined to sell their soul to the devil behind money fame and fortune um now now i'm gonna I'm, let me expound on that because when people when people talk about sell their soul people thinking like you know a lot of people think one way and some people think oh like the actual that get sold is sold to the devil that might be one thing but when i hear sell their soul to the devil it's like they will do anything for money as far as like you know put a dress on for this movie put a purse on for this movie kiss this man for this movie you know go do this there's it's, it's nothing that will stop you you know there's no no like because they even with dave Chappelle, they wanted him to do it he said no he had he as a man he said this is something you know that i won't do because it's um what's the word i'm looking for dehumanizing and demasculating you know for in, in my opinion for a man to put on a dress and a win or to wear woman's attire it, it just is if i come out here right now in a woman's dress and some high heels on it just you know what i mean it's just it just wasn't the way we was raised you know what i mean and i'm not trying to put a stereotype on the way anybody should dress per se but it's just like you know my dad was a marine you know what i mean so it's just a little different for me the way i grew up i just got to speak for myself i think that. it's strictly hip very very hypocritical and hypocrisy yeah. of some that can sit there and go on against the tyler perry a martin lawrence uh, a Jamie Fox agenda and, and and all of these people who wore dresses as black men and, and try to say that they are demasculated but then in the same breath go and kick rocks on 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 whatever platform and say how dare you say it's wrong for him to put on a purse it's his free will we say this how dare you because at the end of the day Martin who we all love Jamie Fox who we all love all these actors and, and people that I'm naming they all did it and made millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars but when rich and but, but, but at the end, when, when it seemed like thrown on as an agenda then they're the victim they they love to play a victim role now i want to talk about rich homie kwan dope rapper and he was put in that box early on he was on a platform talking about and addressing young thug calling him hubby let's hear about that and then i want to dive into it let's get your one two let's go explain what that what, what that means man because you know people people gonna jump to the conclusion you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 everybody, 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 Anybody who knows me or knows Carl, I mean, or knows Jeff, I mean, I mean, or knows Thug, knows like, you would say that now when I face it, point blank period, you know what I mean? Like, it's just something that's for you to take out you want like, I really don't even read comments, you know what I'm saying? If it has the internet buzzing, man, let's keep it buzzing, man. Let me keep calling you up, you know what I mean? I know I ain't gay, <laughs> point blank period. <laughs> I feel that young. So, my thing is like, almost it's like almost kind of admitting that these cats not to say that him but it's like almost like all right i put the dress on don't mean i'm gay but it's still you it's, it's still a uh it's still going to have an effect on people that see it and he knowing that he ran away from that 
Right. He cut the hair. He right. kind of ran away from that. You know him in the falling out with Young Thugger. He don't really kind of associate himself with that anymore. So you even heard in that dialect, man, I'm just doing what I got to do, man. I'm not. But at least he came out and said it. You won't even kind of throw this homie Quan in that box anymore. Wouldn't dare do it. Yeah, you know, I mean, he kind of got out of it before, let's say it was quote unquote too late. Right. And I think that's what a lot of these rappers, and I'm bad to cut you off, no, to get, they should really be careful of because you're letting you're letting this media paint a picture that you won't be able to get out of. And once it's really time for you to show who you really are, no one's going to care because there's going to come a time where Lil Uzi says, you know what, man, fuck that shit. I, I don't know why I did that. Let me get away with that. But people are always going to bring that back. It's going to come a time young thug may go, man, fuck that shit. That's not who I am. But people are always going to bring that up. So right. you got to be careful on how much control you allow them to have over your life, because once you allow them to have too much control, you won't be able to get it back. And they're just going to paint the picture however they want. Yeah. Like, meanwhile, you know, like I'm reading this comment, this dude put, I work at a popular department store and we got a shipment of man bags. It was kind of confusing because we didn't even have a section for man bags. We have gym bags and book bags. I don't want to read the whole thing, but mm -hmm. I just want to say it goes on to the whole thing about the agenda. These companies just trying to sell shit. They don't care. They say, look, man, where this and where that? Well, fuck, I want to just try this woman. Put this on. You know what I mean? Little Uzi. We'll, you know, uh, 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 we'll pay you, you know, because uh, uh, um, I think it was even something with uh, Will Smith's uh, son was going to uh, model at one point uh, some women's stuff, some, something crazy like that. So it's like, all right, you can model. You don't got to just model the men's, the Jordans now. Now y'all can model women's stuff and we're going to sell them the same because you have a women demographic that watch it. But look, I'm going to ask you this question, though, you know, before we get even deeper to this. Do you think this has a direct correlation between you know, a lot of us now being raised by women because you, you look around, you see like women, you know, because I, I talked about, you know, we both had our fathers in the household and mm. it was just, this was unacceptable. But if you're a woman may not, and woman may just laugh if her son's walking around, he put the heels on or has a bag on. She may not necessarily condone them. So is this, you know, have, and then also another aspect to this is that naturally a child is going to emulate whoever's raising them yeah. naturally. Yeah. So if you just got the mother in the household, and this goes into the emo a lot of these emotional cats on YouTube and a lot of these emotional cats is killing each other in the street. They're picking up a lot of these traits, you know, um, from their mother and they're acting like women even more and more. Do you think that the lack of women in the black household and minority household has a direct correlation of the way these rappers are coming out right now dressing like women? Uh, the lack of men, you mean? Lack of men. Great question. Okay. Yeah. Great, great, great question. It definitely has a psychological effect. It needs to be dived deeper into. It needs to be addressed more because it's it's whether it whether it has a case in in most or, or none, it's not addressed and it's not brought up. And it needs to be brought into the conversation very deep because it just it, it is what it is. Without a male in a household, you you it, it's a balance. It's just like if you don't have a woman in a household, you need that balance. You have people or men that have piece of shit women or piece of shit moms. They go out and just do whatever they can with women. You know what I mean? Or or degrade and do things terrible to women. Same thing with a man. If they don't have a man in the house, they don't know how to properly be a man. So they out here running wild, not doing the right thing, not learning, not following and leading by example, like you alluded to. You, whoever is in that household, you're going to emulate and follow. And as a boy, his natural reaction is to follow his father. It's just natural. Yep. A, a, a little male cub follow, follows his daddy cub. You know, it's just it's, it's natural. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And the mother is a staple and so strong in the household. There's no doubt about that. We praise our mothers to the end and to the death. But what we don't do enough is praise the fathers. And often enough, it's there because a lot of them may be in jail or in a situation where not in the household. And as men, we got to check ourselves on that and make sure that we're on the front line to say, now, fuck that. You're not going to keep me out of my kid's life. You're not going to stop me from seeing my kid. Yeah, I may have a situation, but I'm going to get out of it because I have to make sure I'm a staple in my kid's life. Even if that daddy's sitting in jail, I believe that it's somebody's responsibility to make sure them kids go see their dad. Even in that fucked up situation, though, listen, man, don't do Listen, babe, don't do what I do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You mm -hmm. got to see a situation where there is a way out for you, but don't end up like I did. Don't resent. If you're going to resent me, resent me. But listen to my words and understand that you can't be in a situation. There's just nothing going on. There's a disconnect mm -hmm. with any kind of staple in their life. And without both, I mean, it's just, it, it, it's a recipe for disaster. And a lot of these rappers, I'm sure if we dove deep, you see that they, they, they didn't have dads in their life or what have you. I can't say all, but I'm sure a lot of them do. It's a psychological issue that needs to be talked about. It needs to be addressed for sure. Yes, sir. You listen to the Unsaid the Truth podcast with your brother, Old God and Sam. And I want everybody listening to do me a favor. Go up top and hit the like button and make sure that you share this video. I definitely appreciate everybody watching. And I appreciate everybody that leaves the comments on the videos. I continue to keep it going, man. We appreciate it.